Like, could you imagine if it was a real like sexual conversation, like a message board for just talking about sex? Like they're just not like they're going all out without. Yeah. And, and then the best is they all try to one up each other with like the most craziest shit. Right. Oh. Yeah. Like they all one up, but you know, Hey, they got, you know, there's shit that's got to be learned. Shit. <laughs> it, you definitely <laughs> shit, shit on a finger. You got to get, right. You got to get the shit on the finger. Oh man. So, so Jen, what else you got on those notes? I'm I'm still I'm still I'm still I, stuck. <laughs> I know I pulled us I pulled some stupid news for us too, but our chat got out of control and I lost my news stories that I pulled. Something that really annoys me, and I find a lot of guys do this online. Yeah. Though if they're talking about and maybe it's like more hockey guys and stuff, like someone will put up a picture of a hockey player and like, oh, he's really hot, da da da. And the guys are always like, I'm straight, but like you know what guys can never just you like a girl could say like Angelina Jolie like oh my god she's so hot like I'd never right. be like I'm straight but she's but so she's hot. hot like girls never say that like right we don't right. Need to like just she's hot why do guys need to like so so oh uh, was it like, like oh. I'm not just gonna say like oh my god Brad Pitt is so hot they're gonna be like, I'm straight, but Brad Pitt is really hot. <laughs> but Why like, have, but like, but I mean, honestly, a bunch of hockey playing dudes. I picture hockey watching men to be more manlier than football men. But I'm not. Mm. Am I wrong? Are what hockey is, fans like, like really the, manly dudes? Well, I think they think they are. If but, they are, I don't know, but. You know how like football? I don't know. Like, what do you think? I feel is like the most- football guys are more like manlier. Mm-hmm. You do I think, like, like hockey uh, a metrosexual. No, um, right? You don't think oh. there's too many metrosexuals like in football? No. Now there's an old term. Do we? Is that metrosexual? Is that still a thing? I, for for me as an old lady, I don't know how else to describe a man that exactly. might say. Uh, there's probably a PC term, but I don't know it. No, no, no. I think it's good. I mean, that's, I can relate to metrosexual. I can. I mean, understand. I think like metrosexual is, you know, was, was, a, I, you know, saw a man who, you know, could still dress really nice. Just a guy and, who looks like himself, right? Like, yeah. You know, instead of like some of these football, you know, they wear sweatpants, their football jersey and a baseball hat and, you know, new balance sneakers. I don't know. Yeah, like I definitely think football is the more manly, like, Ugh. okay. So, hockey, 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 got- the hockey people here are definitely scruffier and bigger dudes, like more just like beefy dude stuff. Like, they are like yeah. they're the they're like, I'm straight, but I think he could be attractive. No, they wouldn't even say that. <laughs> oh, they wouldn't, <laughs> they would be like, don't ask me, I'm not doing it, but not hockey. <laughs> I, I've had guys say to me, oh, don't ask me that. I don't look at guys that way. Right? It's so weird. Like You can't appreciate so beauty? <laughs> exactly. That's my whole thing. I don't get it. They're insecure yeah. with their with their masculinity. I don't even know. Like, you know. Yeah. Probably it, eh? No, that's, I mean, obviously, it's definitely a thing. So I'm just, so maybe like a tennis fan's guys fans of male fans of tennis would be like "Ooh, he's cute <laughs> like I could say it and not have to say, you know I don't know I'm just trying to match up the manliest dude with the sport but I would think the manliest of all would be like rugby right like those oh, yeah, guys probably. or wait soccer dudes are pretty <clears throat> like foreign soccer dudes you know what I mean like it's so like big USC, in like Germany like that USC fighting like if you're gonna sit and watch there people, you go I- like, those you're right mma mm-hmm. those would have to be the manliest you know if anybody's listening we're open to opinions we want to know what sport is the manliest like we like the most manly of all i'm going with the mma mm-hmm. i think so well, you know there was that phrase going around a bromance i have a bromance with so-and-so right, right? yes mm-hmm. that, that was, was like the but you know, I mean, but they didn't get it. I don't know how many people. But I think guys, that thing. 
like the on Big Brother Canada this season, there's two guys that definitely have a bromance, and they're like, and both of them. Did, I, did we talk about this before? The threesome on the show. They're all three of them are banging right on the show. Yeah, there's a thruple. What show is this? On the Big Brother, Big Brother Canada. I gotta watch this stuff. Okay, oh, so good. <laughs> Anyways. Wait. They, Are you serious? So is it two girls and a guy or what is the throw? Oh, two guys and a girl. They call themselves the triangle. So when the, so the, the, the so, so the guy's like banging her and the other well, guy's she, watching. She, she's banging both guys. I right. think now she's only down to one, but the first but, couple of weeks she was banging both and they both knew about it. Like, oh, they weren't on the same bad tag team in her. I don't think so. That's probably so a even for Canada. Okay, well, that was my first thought when you said thruple, right? Yeah, and because... you know, that's what they're calling themselves, the thruple. Yeah, but they're but... all three of them should be in bed together. I don't know, Cindy. I don't know. This is they should be. It's against. <laughs> it's against law. They need to be in bed together. They should be. Thank you. That's my <laughs> thruple law, Doctor Dyson. <laughs> don't you think Google? That's the thruple law. I'm. I thought we were talking about three men at first. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Dr. Dyson, same here. I'm like, oh, that's like, that the word. The power is really off. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys say that they're in a bromance and like, they're like having baths together. Oh. And like, they, these are like hot. Like these are guy guys. Like, and, but they are very like comfortable with themselves. Like, I feel like they're the kind of guys that would be like, oh yeah, Joe, the football player, he's really hot and not be like, I'm straight, but Joe's really hot. Okay. So how old are they on the show? Mm, probably mid twenties. All right. Well, it's definitely probably the age group that's a little more comfortable with themselves than, you know, my age group, you know, or whatever. Oh, yeah. My dad would never have a bath with another boy. No, I just, I... <laughs> <laughs> How big is this tub for two men <laughs> to be in the bathtub together? <laughs> I can't you, number one, you number one. The fact that you said that was funny. Number two, who the fuck are you comparing me to your dad with the same age? <laughs> Dying. Troop, and then Jen comes up with, yeah, my dad <laughs> never bathed with another dude. <laughs> I, I don't of- think I, I mean, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe I'm just, I don't think I've ever been taking a bath with some other person. I guess maybe I have, but how big is this bathtub? But you oh, yeah. bath with girls and boys. Listen, I, I just, you know, I, I mean, they're naked, like full on dicks floating in the water, taking a bath. Oh, but there she's is. got a picture of them in the oh, bath. Oh my God, I love it. They See, that, are that's... two big dudes too. Right? right? They are both hot. They're all tattooed up and like, look at them in the bathtub. Just is, And there's other people in the room. That's a special bathtub. Is there, that's a wait, special. Is there... So Thruple Girl, she's like out there sitting on the edge of the bathtub with them. She's the one that's behind them. No, look at no, that dude's horrible the hair. Trailer. Who's the one with the mullet? Yeah, that's for a- he's a douche. He's get, getting kicked out on Thursday. No. But he's not part of the relationship. He's no. not. In, he wishes he was in the thruple. He keeps calling them the square, and they're like, "No, no, he's <laughs> square triangle." Was she sitting on the toilet? I think she was sitting on the toilet. Um, I think it's just a stool because I can't imagine that the toilet's in the middle of the room. She just pulls up a squatty potty right next to the <laughs> right. <laughs> But so, like, and there's one of the guys washing her hair. Oh, now that looks luxurious. I does. Honest. I I'd love for somebody and give you the scalp massage. Jeez. Oh, that's the best. I had a cotton collar, and when the and when she was washing my hair today, I was just sitting over the sink, and she was like, you know, you know, like she probably had like nails, and you know, they get in there and scrub them, like things that I don't do to myself in the shower, like really deep scrub my hair. I'm lucky I put fucking soap in it sometimes, right? And she's like scrubbing, and while I would, and while I was laying there today, I was thinking, I don't think I've ever washed my hair like this. <laughs> I got a good scrub on my head. 
Because I was like, God, this really feels uh, this feels really good. Oh, it's the best. Feeling. And I guess I probably I don't know, but I do have this tool. Have you seen that tool with the little it's pricklies like- that you could scrub? No, you could scrub your hair in the shower with. Oh, mm. yeah. You know what your fingers are for? My what? Your fingers. No, this has got like these, I'm going to have to show you guys it after. I got it on Amazon and I loved it. And then I bought everybody one for Christmas. Lauren, did you get one? like $3.99. It was a head scrubber. Mel, did you get one for Christmas? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. And it's supposed to promote hair growth and it like massages your head really good. I've seen that. You hold it, it has a little knob and you hold it. It's great though, you guys. It really is nice. It doesn't get tangle your hair or nothing. Oh wow! So I, after she washed my hair, I thought, you know what, Cindy, it's time to pull out that fucking hair deep cleaner <laughs> because I've been trying to practice what Margaret and Teresa said: don't wash your hair. Go as long as you can without washing your hair. It's good for you during, you know. And I thought, well, I can pop, I can do that because I wear my babushka at work every day and I, and I don't have to really worry about my hair and sometimes I mean in the quarantine I'm not going anywhere at night you know but I can't go past two days I can't either my head feels itchy yes I I can't I can't go past two days without like washing my hair well you know this past year it's every day it's like the same right and I'm like when was the last time I washed my hair, right? (laughs) I try to think, okay, I'll do it like Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. And I'm like, what is today? And then today, just today, I was like, did I put deodorant on? Or was that yesterday? Hey, (laughs) ever since my weight loss surgery, I haven't had to wear deodorant. Really? Really? I don't, don't, because I, I ran out and I forgot to buy it and and I keep it in my bathroom and I'm too lazy to go like to Danielle's bathroom and get her. So I just wasn't using it. And I just forgot. And like, after a couple of weeks, I was like, I don't have any more B. I don't have any BO anyway. It's very bizarre. Hmm. But I don't really sweat under my arms either. I, Girl, I sweat from my head. So yeah. It's I sweat like, from my head. It's like, like I I'm get like, I heat up on my head and like, it, Yeah. So I really don't sweat from under my arms, but I'm glad you guys really needed to know that information. Yeah, yeah. You're saving money, Cindy. What are you going to do with all that money you're not spending um, on uh, Yeah, I know. Deodorant. On the deodorant. I know it. I know it. Yeah, nothing. Nothing, Mel. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. So I, I, did, I did have uh, <clears throat> a couple uh, news stories, but I lost them. Does anybody have anything? Um, not two stories okay i, I did, did have a go go, ahead, go lauren. lauren i lauren. do have an interesting so uh you know dr dyson happened okay. to see an article recently about scrotox oh, yes dr dyson Which, that was the one of them yeah so uh, men uh you know they say older men but men are going to like uh estheticians at and doctors to get uh, injected in their balls with Botox. Scrotox. Um, so that they're firmer? So what it does, you know, as the men age, they get, they get wrinkly. And so the Botox Wait. helps to, just like it does in the forehead, it like stops the muscles from being used and it like lessens the wrinkles. So apparently it makes your balls look a little bit bigger and just mostly not wrinkled. So they look younger. I kind of like this idea. Scrotox is like the new convertible or toupee. You Stop. Know. Now I got to do before and afters of Scrotox. <laughs> because I mean, does it, it, it has to lift the, the, the balls for some, I mean, I. So in the picture, in the article, it actually makes them hang lower, which gives the appearance that they are carrying more underneath their pants. <laughs> Why do you want them to hang lower? Does it make. It's going to make your dick look smaller. When you're clothed, it, it looks like you've got more there. Oh, I'm thinking of the naked. I see. Well, so I mean, you're, once you're naked, I mean, you just got smooth balls. So isn't that a lot of money to spend when you can just shove a sock in it? Probably like they did in the 70s. I mean, <laughs> so he said it's about 50 units of Botox to do like each time, which 
And that doesn't last. You have yeah, to keep going like, to get your balls straight. 